seen some people do this and just take and loosen the wire or loosen the cage up there and then just kind of flip it over and work on it like that but I prefer just to take it out it's in my mind a little easier this one here is going to go to the bottom of your board in DF2 uh, this here is going to be your fan wire and the orange one here is going to be your common these two come off of your capacitor Sanding cloth, just kind of knock off a little bit of abrasion here. Take some penetrating oil, rust buster, whatever you want to call it. Kind of let that soak in for a minute. Knocks off all that gunk. Uh, when trying to pull these off, a lot of times they like to stick and get seized up. So you take and put that oil on there and it loosens all that stuff up. Um, this one don't look like it's gonna be too bad. thing you want to watch out with using this is that you're not in the set screw nice and even so you ain't trying to push down on the housing. Tighten them all up. And just like that, fan motor comes or fan blade comes off. All right. The one thing you gotta watch out for with this, so this fan has to sit at the same height in the unit. And as you can see, they're not the same size, so we're gonna have to cut that way down. Uh, make sure your set screw is on the flat side of the shaft there. Make sure that set screw is down there on there. It's going to be right there where that uh, flat part is lining up with the hole. There's, we're not going to cut these off because they're going to be hanging from this. That's not going to increase uh, the height of the, of the fan on that motor. But we want to make this sit uh, about the same as it does on this one because it has to force that air up and out of the top of it rather than uh, dispersing it within the machine. So it's got to be at a certain height sitting on that unit 
otherwise it won't work right. So we take these wires here and put them up and out of the way so they don't get uh, tore up by the fan fan blades. Uh, I also put them here personally so if I need to reverse polarity to change the direction of, of the fan, which way it's spinning, I can do so just right here without having to take the whole fan back off. So this, the green wire here is your ground wire. Uh, we have to have that attached here. And the best way to do it is just come out of the top. Put it on one of the one of the mounts. Easy peasy. So the height of that is in translation to the shroud. If it's below that shroud, it's pushing the air out through the coils rather than out of the top. So it's not pulling the air in and out the top. It's just kind of uh, circulating within the machine and it throws your pressures and temperatures off. So you got to make sure that it's uh, high enough to blow that air out. So there's a diagram here on the side of the blower. In this case, we have brown and brown and white going to my capacitor. And then my black and white is my line voltage. My black is going to go to back to my board. And always test your spade connectors. So that wire we're getting away from. That is going to go to our fan side of our capacitor. And then we need one more spade connector for our white or common. The moral of the story is to remember where you took the wires off. Put them back. can be a little confusing in situations like this where you took off three wires, put on four. The capacitor comes with the uh, spade connector, or the capacitor wires come with spade connectors already on them. Um, in some cases you have to route the uh, power wires for this into the top of the uh, contactor. So that's why they have those wires off, but in this case, we're going to be attaching them back to the board and the capa or capacitor. So we got to add some spade connectors. So the one thing you got to watch out for with these units, or whenever you're doing this, is that the fan is spinning in the right direction. Easy way to do that. If it's not blowing the hat off, it's probably not spinning the right way. So we disconnect our power. And you can see how that's spinning. It's the fans or the fan is bla blade is angled up and it's spinning that way. So it's actually pushing the air down. So we take these wires back loose 
and we are putting them we're basically we're switching polarity on the unit so instead of spinning this way it's going to start spinning this way and that'll actually force the air out and up and i'll have to grab some zip ties and button this back up get this all nice and pretty again so i had yellow to yellow and purple to purple here and the way that i've switched the polarity is just to take and uh, separate those and then connect yellow into purple and yellow into purple and that gives that switches my polarity she lives and with the vert polarity pushed in the right direction how it's supposed to you can't drop your hat on top of it hey look if y'all are looking for more tips we're always looking for your feedback and we want to answer your questions and we will on a regular basis on our youtube channel so subscribe right here to our youtube channel not here here to our youtube channel <laughs> and we'll we'll try to make sure we take care of all the questions and answer them efficiently for you y'all take care god bless